How is it going, everybody? Scott, the Mass Nerder here, and I've got my longtime friend and partner in PTFO Director's Cut, Mr. Time himself. And in the background, you're going to be seeing our first round in PTFO Director's Cut. Rather than just doing all the live team callouts for this match, Mr. Time himself is going to have those all on his channel. So make sure you check the link on the description or on the video. Go swing by, check those out, and hopefully you enjoy them. For my videos, I thought I'd try to do something else. I'm going to be trying to do different commentaries, maybe breakdowns over them. This time, it'll be me and Time doing a little dual commentary. So we're going to be talking about our transition from our practice round into the match and sort of how those, you know, how those panned out and how they worked for us. Um, so I think we want to start, Time, if you could discuss. I mean, do you think... How do you think our practice matches went? Well, we obviously found some servers with some actual teams in them, and they gave us a real challenge, and that was really good practice, and it really made us work on our callouts, and I think we came in fairly well prepared, although actually having played the map a whole bunch of times, we had an idea what we wanted to do, but we really hadn't played too many times, and so it was kind of a work in progress to see what would happen and oh, how yeah, things yeah, would yeah. go down. Yeah, again, we didn't know what their strategy uh, was, so we that's just had a good to play. point. I mean, we didn't really do any official scrims, and we we practiced on, you know, what routes we wanted, what positions. All those videos I made, we talked about that stuff, but our actual game time on those maps against a competitive team, was, I mean, was very minimal. But so we had those sort of ideas, and now the topic I want to talk about now is sort of how did we. In the actual match, how did those pan out? Do you feel like, you know, we won, and I think the other team played well, but did we win because our practicing, or was it more maybe our intuition and experience in the game? Well, I think having played a lot of those squad rush games, you really recognized how important it was not to get squad wiped and to stay spread out and make good call-outs so that people could be ready for enemies coming in. And we did that. Like in the later games, we, things got a lot more hectic. But at the same time, we still stayed around. We tried not to get wiped, and we tried to keep making call-outs. Yeah. And on defense, we actually we stopped him both times. And that was, I think our positioning really paid off then. And I think you can attribute that to our practice. We planned these routes. We looked for positions where we had advantage. You know, we had sufficient cover. We could support other players. And I feel like it really helped out on defense. Because we were we were set up. I mean, would you agree with that? Oh yeah, and especially you'll see that on the no shore game, where we're very much playing zone defense and making callouts, trying to cover each other. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the video that I should be playing now, and that's very clear that you know you're playing tight. We have one guy left, one guy right, and me playing safety, and that we pretty much stay in those zones the entire match without really any confusion. A few people die, but we get right back to our spots, and that really held down that area nicely. Uh, the game on Karg Island, uh, we thought we were going to spread out a little bit more in that one too. Uh, they started landing on the roof, and oh my, all hell broke loose. But again, we kept making callouts, and we tried to avoid getting wiped. I kept putting down the motion sensor, so we have an idea where they were, and somehow we pulled it out. Yeah, those. so that's what I was going to move into. So, I mean, no shot, we, we did well. We had our zones. On Karg, I mean, we're all in that construction building, and it got really hectic because there was eight people, on a, and it has like four different uh, levels and we were just running up and down and i think that one there was, there was no planning really that could go into that i think practice in our communication and playing with each other did help us but nini was pretty much like all right i'm watching defender side run to attacker side so we i feel like practice helped in the sense that not positions because there was no position was running to wherever the enemy was but it was we never get bunched up on one staircase or on one level we constantly were calling out oh you go that side i go that side and we effectively took control of the area even with all the hecticness going on yeah and i think there's a lot to be said there because there were times where you'd see your teammate and be like i'm i trust him to be able to handle that and if he goes down he's going to make a call out so i can go around and make a flank i like ran up the third floor one time and came back down behind him and while well, i don't think that was a critical move it, it helped and so you know just making call outs moving around and relying on your teammates to tell you if something's going wrong really made the difference. Yeah, and that's something I mentioned in one of our practice rounds when we were playing together is that the trust, you have to build that. And it really, it sort of sounds corny, but it's so important in a tough, tough environment because you need to know that you can, your back is covered so you never have to look that way. Yeah, so spread out and rely on your teammates to do what whatever it is they're trying to do. Huh? So, yeah. so defense worked worked better for us. And attacking, I guess we, since we didn't have that much practice, we discussed routes and maybe some critical positions we'd like to hold up in. 
But in Kari Island, Jeez. our second attack, we did not get the second objective. And could you just, what are your Jeez. thoughts on why did we not get that? Not we just practice, could or? not clear them out of the building. We didn't really know where we wanted to go, yeah. where the power positions were. They were up above MCOM, and apparently that's a pretty good place to be because every time we got in the building, they spotted us, they took us out. So they, they knew where we were, yeah. So to finish up, you know, it's a short commentary. Your opinion on what's more important. If you, if you can pick a more important one, would that be experience and intuition or planning? I think a lot of it comes back to being familiar with the game mode, knowing that you don't want to get squad wiped, that you want to push in slowly, clear things out, and then let someone move in for the arm. Maybe it's kind of a distraction to get that last guy to panic and try and get, get him out of wherever he is that you, you haven't managed to so far. So, yeah. play, you know, I'm going to have to actually... <laughs> I was going to say, ahead. I think I actually have to put my vote on planning. And I think you can't win without the experience and without the intuition and in-game skill. But if I'm, I'm thinking back to our matches, and No Shark Canals, we had a plan and we won. Karg Island, we, we we did not have a plan and we lost. I can see that. Uh, there's the chance that you start to rely on that and you don't know what to do when things go wrong. So a lot of the time you plan attack and suddenly some guy goes down and then you, you're respawning somewhere. Do you respawn at the deployment and try to just run the same route? Do you respawn yeah. on a teammate? I mean, those are things you just have to play by ear. So I guess we can't really pick which is more important. They can both be uh, equally as important, <laughs> depending on how the match goes. All right, well, thanks for stopping by, Tom. Uh, you guys can all go see all the live commentaries for all our matches on his channel, and they should have all the live calls and stuff. And that's obviously been linked on the screen and in the description. Awesome. Thanks, nerd. <laughs> Happy gaming, everyone.